Susan, fitness from the pro. If you're tired of doing crunches, or you don't want to even bother getting down or off the floor, this is the workout for you. Come on and join me. We're going to start by warming up. And we're going to march it, but marching in a different way. I want you to make sure those shoulders are just above your hips and the abdominals are engaged. That means pulling that belly button into the spine to support that low back. We'll just start with some marches, but it's not a regular march. I want you to march and point the toes. Point the toes down. And I want you to hold that and engage those abdominals. Now you can stay here if you wish. You can always hold on to a chair as needed. Maybe you want to bring those arms out to the side. Now it's just not a quick march. You're lifting and holding. Lifting and holding. Maybe you want to bring those arms up. Pulling that belly button into the spine. Make sure you're pointing that toe. Now you can do this for 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. Maybe you want to do it 45 seconds or 60 seconds. You want to start out slow and then gradually build up the time, but make sure you're holding and lifting and pulling the belly button into the spine. Good. Now we're going to add on here. Standing tall. Abdominals are in to the spine. Keep that core active. Bring those arms up. Now bring that right knee out to the side and left knee out to the side. Good. Not only is this opening up those hips, but you might feel a little something, something right here on the sides in your obliques. Now, if this is enough for you, stay here. If you want a little bit more challenge, I want you to bring same knee to elbow and lower, elbow to knee and lower. So what you're doing is squeezing these ribs and hip bones together, working those obliques. Belly button is engaged to the spine. Opposite, same elbow to knee. Now I don't want you to do this. This isn't really doing a whole lot. Make sure that posture is nice and tall. You want to hold it there for a second. And again, maybe start off with 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Do up to a minute. It's up to you. This is your workout. Make it yours by doing what is available to you for any particular day. Now we're moving on. Again, we're going to keep those abdominals engaged. Standing up tall, those elbows are up. Pull the belly button into the spine. March, opposite elbow to knee. Now you're not just doing this, okay? I want you to hold it for a second and really engage that core. Focus on something still. Nice and tall. Elbow to knee. Good. Roll those shoulders back. Now we're moving on to, what is this, our fourth exercise? We're going to stand up nice and tall. This is a little bit different than all of the others we've done. I want you to keep those hip bones facing me, facing forward. Bring your hands to your temples. Engage those abdominals. Now, inhale here. I'm going to lift from my torso, rotate, and then bend forward, lift, and come back center. So it's kind of three moves. Belly button's engaged. Lift from the torso, rotate, keep the hips facing forward, and then bend forward, as you exhale, lift and come back center. So when you're doing this, belly button in, rotate, bend forward. You should feel it right here in this left side if that right, if you're bringing that right shoulder to that left hip. So you want to stay doing one side first, okay? Belly button's engaged, rotate, hips face forward, bend forward. Lift, come back center. 
Make sure you're not pulling on that head and neck. And really squeeze those obliques. Now let's start out maybe five, five repetitions on one side. You could do 10, 12 repetitions. But as soon as you start getting fatiguing and you're losing that posture, stop. Let's do it on the other side. Engage that core, hands to your temples, lift from the torso, keep the hips facing forward, rotate, bend, squeeze, lift, come back center. Rotate, exhale, pull that belly button tighter, lift, come back center. Lift, rotate, lift, back center. Now I'm not moving my hips and you can really feel the isolation right here. You're bringing those ribs and hip bones together. Let's just do one more together here. Inhale, abdominals engaged. Rotate, bend forward, lift, come back center. Now you can do this a little quicker, but I don't want you to do it quick if you're losing that form. Good. And there we have our standing exercises. We're moving, oh, we have one more standing exercise. I'm gonna get a chair if you need to. Those shoulders, you're standing up nice and tall. Shoulders are back, above the hips, hips above the knees, knees above the ankles. Now, if you're a yoga person, you know what I'm talking about, that head, oh, that whole body alignment and someone is pulling a string from the top of your head and your chin is parallel to the floor. All right, now I'm gonna shift my weight to that right leg and bring my left toe back. My abdominals are active. That means they're pulled into the spine. Reaching those arms forward, I'm going to hinge from my hip. Now my abdominals have to be active. They have to be engaged in order to do this move. Now watch that that left hip isn't turning out. You want both of those hip bones to face the floor. You're pushing into that right heel, standing up. Maybe you just want to bring that toe to the floor. Go ahead and extend that left leg behind you, keeping that belly button in. Once again, those hips are square. Stand up nice and tall and bring that knee up, holding it, belly button's engaged. Go ahead and reach forward, extend that leg. Now option, hold on to that chair if you need to. And then you're gonna stand up, nice and tall. Either bring the toe to the floor, or bring that knee up, lower that foot, lower those arms. And then just go ahead and relax. Now, that's a challenging exercise. Do three, four, maybe work your way up to eight to 10 to 12. You know, again, gauge your progress. Start slow and move slowly, making sure that form is good and those abdominals are engaged. Let's try it on the left leg. Shoulders are back, abdominals in, chin parallel to the floor. I'm shifting my weight to that left leg. My arms are right out in front. I'm bringing that right toe behind me. My belly button is pulled into my spine. I'm gonna hinge from my hip. Now watch if this right hip doesn't turn out. You wanna keep those hip bones facing the floor, pulling that belly button into the spine. Go ahead and stand up tall, and maybe you wanna start here with that right toe on the floor. Go ahead and hinge from the hip, shooting that right leg back. Again, keeping both of those hip bones facing the floor. You're focusing on something still. You can always hold on to that chair. Stand up nice and tall, lifting that knee. Slow and control. It's not a rushed move. That right hip points down. Keeping your head and neck in line with the spine. Inhale, abs in, exhale, lift. And one more. Keep that right hip pointing down. Those hip bones are facing the floor. Those abdominals are engaged. Relax your shoulders. Come on up. And then lower. And you really feel it in that left foot and your left butt cheeks. So it's a powerful exercise, balance, abdominals, hamstrings. You're getting it all.
I like to get it all in. All right, kids. Now we're moving on here. I'm going to sit up nice and tall. <clears throat> Here's our seated portion of the show. Now, go ahead, place your hand on your belly button and make sure you're sitting up tall. This is going to be the Pilates method of breathing. It's not intuitive at all because usually when we exhale, that's when we kind of relax our abdominals. So I want you to think about those abdominals starting tight as you inhale and then they get tighter as you exhale. And it's all with your breath. So sitting up nice and tall, keep that posture long. Place that belly, the hand on your belly button. We're gonna inhale through our nose and activate that core. Now, that means pulling the belly button into the spine. Now as you forcefully exhale through your mouth, you're gonna pull that belly button tighter to the spine. Don't relax that core. Inhale, belly button in. Exhale. Belly button tighter. So we go from tight to tighter, and my abdominals are still engaged. Belly button in, inhale. Exhale, pull it tight. Good. Just that exercise alone, you can feel it, and it's working the deep internal abdominal muscle, your transverse abdominus muscles, and that's what's gonna help support that low back so we don't have low back pain, okay? And not only that, when you're standing, when you're sitting up and standing up nice and tall, you look so much better, your posture is tall, and people are gonna say, hey, did you lose weight? Because you're not sitting here. Those abdominals aren't engaged. You wanna sit up nice and tall. All right, enough of that. Let's move on, and we're gonna do some seated exercises. So, and I want to mention that breath because I want you to use it while we're doing these exercises. So go ahead and lift up that right leg, and you're holding on to the chair. I'm gonna turn this way so that you can see my posture. All right, again, I'm sitting up tall, hips, shoulders above those hips. My right leg's lifted. Inhale, prepare, pull the belly button in. As you exhale, bring the knee and the chest together and you pull those abs tight. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now, some of you, I've seen this before, want to do this. The head is moving. It's not doing anything for your abdominals. Pull the belly button in, sitting up tall. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Good. Now, I want you to think of a clamp. You're bringing one knee in at a time. Let's do the left leg. <clears throat> Sitting up nice and tall. Lift that left leg. Keep the posture tall. Belly button's engaged. Let's inhale here and prepare. As you exhale, chest and knees come together. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Inhale. Remember, when you're exhaling, you're pulling those abs tighter. Inhale. Exhale, tighter, tighter. Inhale, give me one more here. Exhale. Inhale, good. So those abs go from tight to tighter. It's a hard concept, just practice that breath on your own. Now, that was our easier option. You can do both legs at the same time if you wish. Okay, so we're gonna lift up both of these knees. Now remember, this is only an option and this is more advanced from just the one leg. Pulling that belly button in. Inhale here and prepare. As you exhale, knees and chest come together. Belly button tighter. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, give me one more. Exhale. And go ahead and lower. And you'll feel all this yumminess right below that belly button, right in that lower portion of those abdominals. Okay, we've got another exercise that we want to do. <clears throat> I'm turning sideways. You can always hold on to that chair. Again, watch that posture. Lift your right leg 
and left leg. Pull the belly button in. Now we're gonna just scissor those legs. Those abdominals are engaged. Okay, look bottom, no hands. Abs engaged, maybe do 10 sets, right and left counts as one, or do whatever you can. You'll feel it in the lower abs. If you're feeling it in your hip flexors here, then you're not keeping the abdominals engaged. All right, something a little bit easier here. You thought I'd never get it. All right. <clears throat> Posture. I don't want to be a broken record here. Crisscross those arms. I'm blink. I dream of Jeannie. Uh-oh. Shoulders above those hips. Belly button engaged. We're going to inhale here. That belly button is pulled into the spine. Lean back. As you exhale, pull that belly button tighter. Make that core lift you. Inhale, exhale, or inhale, lean back. Exhale, use those abs. Now, I sometimes see this as we inhale and exhale. Do you see how bad this is? We want to keep that posture tall. Just be mindful, I'm just saying, be mindful of the posture. Inhale, lean back. Those feet are flat on the floor. Exhale, pull that belly button in. Use those cores. <sighs> Sitting up nice and tall. Okay, it's almost like you're not going to quite touch the back, but exhale, use those abs in and lift. Okay, so we just went backwards. Now we're going to go forward. The reverse of that. Again, the posture is nice and tall. We're going to inhale here and prepare, pulling that belly button in, bringing it forward. As you exhale, pull the belly button in, focus on that core, and lift. Inhale, you're hinging from the hip. Notice my posture. I'm not slouch. Belly button is engaged. Exhale. Focus on using those abdominals to lift. Inhale. Exhale, belly button tighter. Inhale. Exhale. Good. I think that was enough for today, don't you? So remember, you can do it either the number of repetitions or you can do a time, 10 seconds. You know, start slow, then build up and uh, your endurance uh, to make it a little bit more effective. But always, if you're losing your form, stop right away. I'd rather you do a few good exercises then a whole lot of bad ones. Don't do those bad ones to just to get 12 repetitions. Do what you can. That is key. And I want to thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe to LWCA Fitness. I'm posting new videos on YouTube all the time. So that's LWCA Fitness on YouTube. Be sure to like the video. You can share the video with your friends and also comment on the video. If there's something that you wanna see a video on, feel free to let me know. I always am looking for feedback. Thanks again for joining me and have a great rest of your day.